y'all what is up and welcome back to my channel for a speed build so today i am building a house for my current household that i just started playing in my spare time so i'm going to kind of explain the house a little bit to you and then i will kind of explain the family in the storyline that i'm going off of all right so this house i was inspired to go with a tutor style house in Windenburg, but I wanted to give it a twist and I wanted to make it look a little bit more industrial if that makes sense. So it's kind of like a mix between a Tudor industrial home, hence the name. <laughs> so I think it turned out really, really nice. Uh, I love these industrial style houses. I don't see them a lot from where, you know, I live, but you know, I do enjoy, you know, seeing them in the sim, seeing people build them. I like my sims living in houses like this. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just like it. I think it turned out really, really nice. So, let me go ahead and tell you a little bit about the family that I built this house for. So, I just decided to start my new current household. I don't do a lot of extra playing in my spare time, uh, like I used to, you know, because when I'm recording, I just feel like I'm so busy recording and editing that I don't get a lot of time to just enjoy the game for myself. And then nine times out of ten, when I do have a current household, I become really, really attached to them. And sometimes I'll carry them over into a Let's Play or something like that. And so far, I really enjoy playing with this family. You guys hopefully will enjoy hearing a little bit about their backstory that I have going for them. Possibly we may carry on, you know, in a future expansion pack we hopefully have coming up soon. Maybe we will feature these Sims, this family, I don't know. But this family that will be living here is the Stark family and it consists of the father, which is Owen Stark, and his two twin daughters, Amelia and Anna Stark. Now, the interesting thing about this because even in my own current household and my own little private gameplay i do like to have an in-depth storyline something for me to get creative with even when i'm not narrating it uh you know into a microphone and editing it and sharing it with others in my head i'm narrating and that's just how I like to play the game, it's enjoyable to me. I like to use my imagination. That's why I tend to get attached. So here is the story behind this family. All right, so Owen Stark had a high school sweetheart and they went to college together. Her name was Angela and they actually were planning on, you know, getting married and, you know, having a life together and all that fun stuff. Well, she ended up getting knocked up. He knocked her up. <laughs> uh, so she got pregnant and didn't get to finish college. So because of the fact that she didn't get to finish college, it kind of caused like this resentment towards him on her half because he was able to finish and, you know, do his thing, but she was the pregnant one and, you know, she felt like it just wasn't fair. And so it kind of just cause major problems between them and she was diagnosed with like bipolar disorder and you know all kinds of like health issues she just got really depressed and everything it was a really really bad situation um she just completely pushed him away said i don't want nothing to do with you um she actually told him that she miscarried after they broke up so for the longest time you know he thought he didn't have any children you know he had no idea well you know, eventually he came to find out she gave birth to two girls, two twins. He tried to reach out. She shut him down. He tried to go to court and fight with her, but he, you know, couldn't win. She lied to the girls, manipulated them, that their father didn't want anything to do with them. Well, a tragedy struck, and unfortunately, she ended up passing away, which was really, really hard on the girls. But um, they did, you know, learn the truth about their father, and they don't have a lot of family uh, where they lived so they decided that you know the best thing for them was to get try to get to know their father since their mother had a lot of problems and definitely manipulated them and they didn't want to grow up you know not knowing their father or at least giving him a chance and Owen you know never remarried or you know that wasn't married he never got married uh he dated around but he is a very successful author he is in the um, writing career and he also you know writes books and sells them to the publisher to get extra cash that way he is a 
such a nerdy looking guy but he's very good looking like he wears glasses he's very sophisticated and geeky but i don't know i think he's really cute he's kind of like buff too so he's not like too too buff but he he's a snack you know he's a good looking sim <laughs> uh, but he's just oh he's like just so intelligent he's very smart he's a loner uh he doesn't have too many friends he hasn't, you know, had a very serious relationship, but, you know, he has dated around and whatnot. Uh, he also is very into, you know, art and all that. He has a little bulldog, an English bulldog named Grover, who is basically like his child. And, you know, he's done very well for himself, which is why this house is so nice. I think it fits his style perfectly. That's why there are a ton of books, you know, bookshelves all around the house, all throughout the house. He has his office. I just think it fit his personality so well, which, you know, me building houses and building them for specific sims, it makes it so much easier on me when I'm decorating the house because I can bring that personality out and the character behind, you know, the, the sims living in the house. So it was really easy for me to furnish this house. I had a lot of fun with it. But anyways, look, back to, back to Owen. Uh, he found out, you know, that Angela had passed away and that the girls you know, wanted to come stay with him. He had two extra bedrooms and was like, yeah, sure, of course. I mean, I would love to get to know my kids. He was gutted and just devastated that, you know, she had lied and manipulated them and he, they wanted nothing to do with him. So finally the truth came out and it was a second chance. So of course he let them come. And so they've been living with him for, you know, a few weeks now and they have no relationship, complete strangers, but they're working on it. And uh, Amelia, is the oldest twin they're kind of opposites they look they're identical they look just alike as if anna has like a little mole in her cheekbone but other than that they're they're identical they look just alike but they have different personalities right so amelia she has long hair she's very girly very preppy i wouldn't say like girly girly oh i guess she is kind of girly but she's preppy i guess you would say uh and she's just a social butterfly she loves to play the piano and sing i don't really know what i want her to do as far as her becoming a young adult and things like that obviously she can sing and she likes to play the piano so that is an option but also she is very sociable so I can see her in the social media career as well we're just gonna have to play with that but you know she has a very loud and outgoing personality whereas her sister Anna she has shorter hair she has glasses she is like the spinning image of her dad as far as personality wise and I like seeing them bond you know I have them playing them and seeing them bond is so cute I know it's weird I'm talking about sims but you know her dad likes to write he's an author and he likes to read and she is a major bookworm so walking into this house she was just in hog heaven being around all these bookshelves all of these you know masterpieces of, you know art he's just becoming a little interested in art you know because her father has been talking to her about it and you know kind of showing her how to paint and draw and things like that but all of these books from around the world and his books I mean she had no idea he was even an author so I mean they've bonded and I think it's really cute she has a lot of his personality where Amelia has more of her mom personality I guess you would say but yeah she is more quiet uh, she's a little bit of a loner too she's very smart very intelligent she's not geeky in a sense like she doesn't dress very geeky but she's a little bit more like modest and you know cutesy and whatever she keeps to herself she's not very boy crazy where Amelia is so it's a lot of fun playing with twins that are kind of opposite personalities because obviously you can take them two different storylines so i'm very excited to see how their story goes they're new in town they're new to windenburg they haven't made a lot of friends yet you know i am playing them in my current you know spare time so i may give y'all an update once i get a little bit more into it i have owen you know going around you know making friends he actually met the librarian in windenburg the little library there in town he met her and she invited him to geek con and the other day they went to geek con together she's a little bit younger than him but that's okay i think he likes her i'm excited for him she's nerdy like him she likes books you know she likes his book she's very interested in him but i don't know i feel like he would go for like a more mature older woman but we'll see we're testing the water so <laughs> we'll see how that goes but yeah this is the family that inspired this home i hope you guys like it it will be available for download on the gallery 
um, but of course, you know, you can put whatever sims you want to in this house, but it does have three bedrooms. There is an office, but you can of course use that for a fourth bedroom if you wish, but I really, really, really enjoy this house. I feel like I need to have more current households and really, you know, play in my spare time because I built a lot of houses that I enjoy, but I don't ever get to enjoy playing in them. I enjoy building them and looking back and being like, oh, so I'm getting better, you know, my skills, I'm growing, but I don't ever get to play in them. So this was fun because it was special, you know, it was specifically for my current household. So I think it turned out very nice, if I do say so myself. I really like the backyard, I like the big pool, I like the landscaping I did. Um, I don't know, I think it, the style, the industrial and Tudor style, I meshed it very well, surprisingly, considering I don't see a lot of houses. I used a lot of inspiration on Pinterest. But yeah, guys, I think that's it. That's it for the house. That's it for my family. Uh, stay tuned. I may, you know, surprise y'all, pop in with a current household update within the next few weeks. But also, I do want to go ahead and say real quick that I have been doing a pretty consistent upload schedule. But it's a little bit you know, starting to get a little off because I got really busy at work and uh, sometimes I just I can't stay right on track. So just be prepared that there may be some days that you don't see me upload. I'm just I'm trying to catch up, trying to get back on track. But the giveaway is ending in just a few days. I'm excited for the winner, whoever he or she may be. I'm excited to see what pack they have and I'm excited to give back. But yeah, that will be the end of this giveaway and then just stay tuned for it in the future, next big expansion pack or game pack, whatever it is that we get the end of the calendar year that they are teasing us about. I may more than likely do a giveaway for that. We'll see. But yeah. I don't know. That's it. I'm running out of things to talk about already. It's like, okay, I had a game plan. I'm going to talk about the house. <laughs> I'm going to talk about the family. And now uh, I still have a little bit more time. So, <laughs> what's up, you guys? How are y'all doing? I hope y'all's day is going great. Um, my day has been going uh, decent, you know. Um, I will say that I have been going through some things, uh, not bad things. I know last time I went through some things, it was like terrible. I took a break and it was a bad breakup. And I was bragging just the other day about how much better I'm doing and you know, giving you my life update and everything. I'm fine. I'm still happy. But I did tweet the other day just to say a prayer for me and send positive thoughts my way because I had a doctor's appointment. Um, it's nothing like very serious, nothing concerning my health, um, just other things that I don't want to talk about. But um, I didn't really get the news that I wanted, and I'm kind of dealing with it. Um, but like I said, I'm healthy, I'm fine. It's um, I'm just, I know I probably shouldn't like mention it and then not tell you exactly what it is, but I think I will once the time comes. I don't even really know how to process it, really. <laughs> so I'm, I'm doing that, but it's okay, you know, it happens, and there's always, you know, a brighter day, a brighter future. Uh, anyways, I'm going to get off that subject because I kind of feel like I'm teasing y'all since I'm not really telling you what it is. But thank you guys for, um, I know a lot of people said, hey, praying for you. Hey, I hope things go well. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. I say it all the time, but I'm just so thankful to be a part of this Sims community that is so kind, so sweet, and so loving when we don't even know each other. We just bond over the Sims, which is really, really cool. But anyways, also, I have a dilemma, guys, and I really, 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 if you're listening to this right now, please, please give me your feedback. This is very important that I get this feedback because I'm struggling. I just started a new Let's Play, and it's The Sims 3 Supernatural. A lot of you voted on it. A lot of you said you wanted, you know, to see it. I feel like it's not doing very good. It's not getting a lot of views recently, and honestly, I'm not enjoying it that much. I figured, you know, it's October, it's fall, I think it'd be a lot of fun. But I can't decide if it's just the supernatural that I just can't get into, or if it's The Sims 3 that I can't get into. I can't decide. I may have to start a Sims 3 current household in my own spare time and just kind of see if it grows on me. But honestly, I just can't get into it. And I don't know if I'm going to continue it, if you guys like it, if you think it's appropriate for, you know, Halloween, fall time. 
please comment down below and let me know that you are enjoying it and you want to see where it goes. But at this point, I feel like it's kind of just, eh, a lot of people's not really eh, interested. Like, yeah, it was a good idea, but it's, it's hard to get into. And I feel like when I'm not getting into it, you guys aren't going to be able to get into it. Because when I play The Sims or when I do Let's Plays, I like to tell stories. And I don't really know how to tell a story when it comes to supernatural beings because I'm not really interested too much in it. Um... So, I don't know. I don't really how I got... I don't know. I'm more into, like, realistic things and realistic situations and stories I can tell that way. So, I'm struggling. But also, it may just be The Sims 3. I personally don't care for The Sims 3 that much. I know. It's a shocker. A lot of people like The Sims 3. I said this in the last build, speed build I rambled in. But The Sims 3 is just... I don't care for it that much. I love The Sims 4. I do. I really do. I, th I like the graphics in it. I think it's bright and pretty. Uh, I just I like how functional it is and how easy it is to tell the story and to complete their needs and the seasons and the holidays and the emotions. It's so much easier and so much more fun to tell stories with. Also, I just think The Sims and The Sims 3, they're ugly. I know that's mean, but they, they are. <laughs> they, the graphics fail in comparison to The Sims 4. Uh, so, I don't know if it's just I'm, I'm so used to The Sims 4. I, I don't know. I, I can't get into it, y'all. I'm trying. But anyways, just let me know what you think. Do you think I should continue The Sims 3 Supernatural? Do you think? Mm, maybe not. Maybe try something else. Maybe give like a gener... I know people like Sims 3 Generations LP. I might would be more interested in that because it's more realistic and I can tell a story that way. Um, or maybe I just need to figure out if I like The Sims 3 and I want to continue doing a Sims 3 Let's Play, period. Might want to figure that out. But give me your feedback. Let me know what y'all are thinking. It really does help me out a lot because I do want y'all to enjoy the content on my channel. I know The Sims 2 is very popular. I know a lot of you are enjoying Seasons, which makes me happy. I'm excited for something else in The Sims 4 to come out so we can do a little bit more of The Sims 4. But until then, we're just going to have fun with Seasons and that family. And of course, Speed Builds. I'm going to continue to do Speed Builds. I want to do more Creative Sims. Um, just kind of get out of my little box with that because I kind of tend to create the same style sims but I want to you know get into like the fashion get, you know use those all that CC I stay downloading put some like fall fashion trends makeovers stuff like that so if you guys have any uh, creative sim ideas that you would like to see I really want to do more of that any video ideas Y'all help me, please. <laughs> I'm struggling. But anyways, y'all, this video is surprisingly finally starting to wrap up. It's not as long and boring uh, as the last one that was super long. But this house wasn't quite as big. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up. Wrap this part up. Wrap this speed build up. This voiceover, y'all. <laughs> I'm struggling. Anyways, give it a big thumbs up if you like it. Comment down below. If you like the house, whatever you want to comment, please, you know, leave me some feedback about my, my dilemma here with The Sims 3 and what I should do with that Let's Play. All your suggestions on what you want to see on my channel, leave it down below. Subscribe if you have not. And yeah, I will talk to y'all later.